Welcome to one of five mini lectures for final year civil engineering students on the topic of geosynthetics. We aim to assist students in civil engineering and geotechnical engineers in understanding more about geosynthetics, which have emerged as a common solution in civil engineering projects over the past 50 years. With a basic understanding of geosynthetics, engineers are better placed to understand the applications, functions, design considerations and the various geosynthetic product categories. This program was funded by the International Fibre Centre and developed by the Monash Geomechanics Group at Monash University in conjunction with the Technical Textile and Non-Woven Association. The program consists of seven mini-lectures over three years of the engineering course, from second to fourth year. It moves from an introductory discussion through an intermediate stage in third year before focusing during fourth year on some common functions and applications. This unit is aimed at final year civil engineering students. The treatment of waste has become much more sophisticated in the last 20 years, driven by increased urbanization, industrialization and population. Expectation for safe disposal of waste are now, rightly, very high. Waste containment structures are increasingly governed by environmental regulation. Containment refers to the controlled disposal of waste, such as urban rubbish, hazardous industrial waste and mine tailings. Containment is the major environmental application of geosynthetics. Geosynthetic products are used to line waste containment systems and control drainage. They protect surrounding environments from the contained waste, both during and long after the waste has been collected. In this unit, we will focus only on landfills, that is, waste dumps found in urban and industrial areas. We will not look specifically at containment systems in mining, as the same engineering principles apply. Landfills can range from small regional facilities to large metropolitan dump sites serving cities of several million people. Landfills are generally constructed as a sequence of cells. Over many years each cell is built, filled, then remediated. Each cell takes several months and several million dollars to construct. Cells often use 10 to 50,000 square meters of lining materials. Each landfill cell typically has a working life of two to five years before it must be capped. The adjacent cell must then be ready for use. In this unit, we cover why containment? Landfill systems, landfill lining systems, landfill drainage systems, landfill capping systems. First, let's consider why containment is such an important function of geosynthetics. Every society produces waste, both household and industrial. Safe disposal of waste is an essential service for all populations. Providers of this service, such as landfill operators, are increasingly governed by environmental regulation. Landfills are a key element in the management of solid wastes. They will continue to be required to manage those wastes that cannot be practicably removed from the waste stream. Today's landfills cannot leave a problem for future generations to clean up. For example, the Victorian Environmental Protection Agency has recently released a draft of its best practice environmental management guidelines, Siting, Design, Operation and Rehabilitation of Landfills, Publication 
1337, May 2010. A large portion of this document is dedicated to the use of geosynthetics in landfills. Once solids are dumped in a landfill, there is very low risk of escape. Containment is focused on controlling the movement of liquids and gas. Some liquids may be contained in the waste. Much more is introduced to the working landfill system from rainfall. As the waste decomposes, hazardous gases and leachates are generated. Containment systems prevent those gases and leachates from contaminating the surrounding environment. Landfills almost always use geosynthetic products to achieve the same or better results than traditional approaches quicker and at a lower cost, provide the designer with greater control and certainty for regulatory compliance, provide an alternative when clay, a natural containment material, is not available or is of low quality. Landfills with geosynthetics use space more efficiently. Every cubic metre of void space is commercially valuable to the landfill operator. Landfill systems. Landfill systems have evolved over time from simple rubbish dumps covered over when full to the carefully designed and controlled systems in use today. Old-style landfills present a number of issues. Little control of the type of waste received, poor location, such as next to river systems or in low-lying water tables, inadequate lining, inadequate capping and inappropriate land use after decommissioning. This cross-section illustrates some of the many problems with old-style waste containment facilities. On the right, you can see it is located very close to a river. Today, guidelines are very strict about where a landfill can be safely located. Such close proximity to a river risks leachate leakage from the landfill, as well as water leakage into the landfill. The diagram shows solid waste at the bottom of the fill, being saturated with encroaching groundwater. The lining system is not sufficient enough to keep it out. The lining system is also not preventing contaminated water from entering the groundwater table. Gravel at the side of this landfill is also a good conductor of liquids and exacerbates the containment challenge. On top of this completed landfill, we can see that the capping layer is inadequate. It will not prevent further water from entering the landfill and adding to the groundwater problem below. Finally, there is no provision for monitoring gas and water quality. After this landfill is capped, it is very difficult to control what is happening inside. Landfills like this are a problem for future generations. Modern landfills are far more controlled and must be carefully designed. Design must consider where the landfill is located, what goes into it and how it will remain safe after decommissioning.